If you are quite in a hurry traveling within Japan, your day is saved by Japan's bullet train that is taking over the world. Welcome back to another episode of High Technology. Before we feature Japan's whopping billion dollar bet on levitated trains, join us as we unpack high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. If this is your first time on this channel, stay tuned until the end as we ride fast inside Japan's maglev bullet train, a dream every commuter could ever hold. Hope for. A technical marvel developed in the years following World War II, Japanese trains carried more than 10 billion people at speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour and contributed to the development of the third largest economy in the world. But that's not enough for Japan. So the nation is currently creating the fastest passenger train in the world. A system that will go twice as fast as bullet trains and have the travel times by doing away with one rather basic component, wheels. These new trains will hover 10 centimeters above the track using magnetic levitation, reducing the friction that results from coming into contact with the rails. However, the new line has faced significant opposition due to the construction delays, soaring prices, and the heated discussion over environmental issues. The project is now almost finished, and everyone is waiting to see if it will successfully overcome its difficulties and represent a significant advancement in transportation, or if it will prove to be a step too far. Japan has some train-related expertise. The Tokaido Shinkansen line between Tokyo and Osaka was built in 1959, making the nation the first in the world to develop high-speed rail. At the time, many people in Japan and around the rest of the world were dubious about the nation's significant investment in rail and believed it would soon become obsolete in an accelerating new era of air travel and motorways. However, the first high-speed line debuted in October 1964 in preparation for Tokyo's first Olympics. It reduced the distance between the two largest cities in Japan's journey time from about 7 hours to just under 4 and it was an immediate success, carrying more than 100 million people in less than 3 years. A modern bullet train now needs 2.5 hours to complete the same journey. The new show Shinkansen line will be completed in approximately 67 minutes when it begins. The Chelsea train Shinkansen will travel at a top speed of 500 km per hour, while a test run in 2015 set a new world record of 603 km per hour. Now it's generally acknowledged that those speeds are practically impossible for a traditional bullet train to reach. Their wheels friction will eventually cause them to be constrained. Japanese experts turn to a technology that has been around since the early 1900s. To address that issue, the concept of magnetic levitation or maglev dates back to the 1960s. The world's first and only commercial maglev line which supports Shanghai city center and airport has been in operation since 2004. Using superconducting magnets, the Central Japan Railway Company also known as JR Central has a updated this technology. Trains may levitate higher above the tracks thanks to electromagnets that are chilled to negative 269 degrees. But first, the trains must be going quickly. The train's carriage is lifted off its rubber wheels once it reaches a speed of 150 kilometers per hour on its own thanks to maglev technology. The train then engages a pair of track coils, one of which is used to lift the train's mass and the other to move it ahead. The carriages can now move at extraordinary speeds without the wheels. It is also claimed that the fact that the trains are totally autonomous and are controlled by the track rather than a driver reduces the likelihood of crashes and accidents. Since 2014, work has been ongoing on the Tokyo to Nagoya line, which is scheduled to debut in 2027. After that, construction on a second extension from Tokyo to Osaka will start, with service beginning as early as 2037, 10 years ahead of plan. The Shoshinkansen line will run 90 miles below, beneath the Southern Alps, in contrast to the current bullet trains whose tracks follow the coastline of Japan. The 285 kilometer route will have 256 kilometers of tunnels. This is due to two factors. First of all, maglev trains operate more efficiently when they follow the straightest paths feasible, and by tunneling through mountains, they may bypass Japan's more earthquake-prone coast. Nevertheless, Junior Central dug some of the deepest tunnel ever seen in Japan as a result of this strategy. Environmental concerns were raised by this, particularly in the Shizuoka Prefecture, where the tunneling threatens the basin of the Oi River. 
a significant source of water for the area. Although environmental studies have determined that there is little risk of damaging the basin, local governments have criticized those reports as being inadequate and hurried. In fact, the present governor of Shizuoka ran for office in June 2021 with a platform opposing the railway and he was elected with the Choshin Kansen as a major issue. One of the most expensive mega projects ever attempted in the nation, the project's cost has increased from $13.7 billion to a whopping $64 billion as a result of this issue and anticipated challenges in the building of new stations. Many people in Japan are now debating whether the new line is really worth it due to the high price tags. Yes, there are a lot of issues with the Japanese maglev. Although you may claim it that it will promote higher economic growth once it is finished, it will be more expensive to operate than ordinary high-speed trains because it uses more energy. The train's smaller carriages won't be able to accommodate as many passengers and they won't run as frequently. On the Tokyo Saka line, conventional bullet trains travel around every 3 minutes. Only one maglev train will be able to run every 10 minutes due to the longer switching times for maglev tracks. Prior to the introduction of the first bullet train in 1964, Japanese rail companies were also able to significantly increase their profits by exporting their technology. But the new player has notably entered the market. Two-thirds of the world's high-speed network is located in China, which is currently the king of the high-speed rail industry. China is starting to create its own version of the technology even though none of its intercity lines are maglev. It tested a maglev train in July 2021 that could travel at 600 kilometers per hour, nearly beating Japan's previous record. Theoretically, a train could travel the four and a half hours it currently takes to fly from Beijing to Shanghai in just three and a half hours. China doesn't need to purchase Japan technology and conventional high-speed rail is still lagging behind in the rest of the globe. Then why would the government give JR Central a loan permission to complete the maglev line 10 years earlier than expected and why is Japan so determined on constructing it. If the Shoshin Kansen is successful, it might link the areas of Tokyo and Osaka in a very significant way by reducing the travel time between the two major cities and the nation. I'm astonished that it's gaining appeal on a global scale. Through well-positioned infrastructure, China's Pearl River Delta is being systematically transformed into mega cities. While less officially, the borders between American cities from Washington DC up to Boston are fuzzing. Similar trends may be observed in Western Europe, where the merging of large cities has the potential to produce unprecedented economic powerhouses. China is working on an even more absurd project, having revealed last year that it's creating a maglev train that in principle could move 2,900 kilometers per hour or three times faster than a jet since there would be no air resistance. And thanks to a brilliant team of engineers who have lately taken on the project, Elon Musk's Hyperloop train which is intended to carry passengers across America at speeds of 1, 1,200 kilometers per hour may have just become a reality. Whatever the future holds for transport, one thing's for sure, it's gonna be fast. Do you think this new line can levitate the country to further success and move people between the major cities in record-breaking time? Share it with us in the comment section down below. That's it for today's video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Tech Technology serving you the best in cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Until then, see you!